Example two, our functions get a little bit more difficult. F of x, one over x plus one over x plus three, and g of x, x squared minus four x. Now the one over x plus three, if you're trying to imagine that graph in your head, how do I graph that? Well, you could use transformations. The one over x graph was one of our parent graphs, and it needs to be shifted three to the left. So what would that mean? That would mean our asymptote would get shifted three to the left, this asymptote would stay, and our graph would look like that. You could also use your skills that you learned in chapter two to graph one over x plus three. Can you see that there's a non-permissible value at negative three? That becomes an asymptote. Can you see that the degree is bigger in your denominator? You have an x on the bottom, but no x is on the top. That would give you an asymptote at y equals zero. And then you could plug in some points and get the final graph to look like that. So you could use two different units to graph this. For x squared minus 4x, I would, for graphing this, factor out an x so that I would find out that my x-intercepts are at 0 and 4. And since it's a parabola, a positive parabola, I know that it opens up. And so that would give me a sketch. If I have x-intercepts at 0 and 4, my vertex has to be at 2. If I plug in 2, I get 2 comma negative 4 as my vertex. Now this question does not ask us to graph those, but I'm just adding that as an extra review since we are getting close to our final exam. What this question does ask is for us to determine an explicit equation for each composite function and then find its domain. So if I wanted to in A, and a reminder, an explicit equation means an equation where your right hand side is just in terms of x. So I want to find the equation of g of f of x just in terms of x. Well, I know that f of x is 1 over x plus 3. So I can change f of x to 1 over x plus 3. And now I'm plugging a 1 over x plus 3 into g of x. What's our rule for g of x? Well, g of x says whatever you put in, that value gets squared, and then you subtract four times that value. So if I plug in a 1 over x plus 3, that 1 over x plus 3 will need to get squared, and then I'm going to have to subtract four times that, so I'll have four times 1 over x minus 3. Now, when stating the domain, not everything's possible. We have some non-permissible values. And we not only have to look at our final equation, but we have to look throughout all the math that we did. Now, in this case, can you see that minus 3 is a non-permissible value? And that's the only thing that's non-permissible value throughout. So our domain is going to be everything except x can't equal negative 3. Oh, I have an x minus 3, which is just a typo. Thank you for noticing that. In B, we want to figure out the explicit equation for f of g of x. Well, g of x is x squared minus 4x, and the function f says whatever you put in to f, you do 1 over that value plus 3. Okay. No, it just said to state the domain, and the range for this one would be something 
that if you wanted to figure out, you'd have to use a graphing calculator because it's a complicated equation. They wouldn't have to graph that. Because it's not one that we've done. Well, if you simplified that equation, which would cause, mean you'd have to square this out, get a common denominator, add them together, you would get a rational function with a horizontal asymptote at zero. Be one of those ones we did in chapter two. But it's a more complicated one. And it's, n I would say it's not the type that they like to put on the exam. Because it doesn't have a whole. So in B, f of g of x, we know that g of x is x squared minus 4x. And we're plugging that now into f of x. And the rule for f of x is wherever you plug in x, you do 1 over that plus 3. So this will equal 1, whoa, highlighter, 1 over this, x squared minus 4x, plus 3. Do we have any non-permissible values here? Possibly. Right? We are, we're, we have, no, in line one, we have no problems. Domain is everything. But in line two, we're dividing. Can I factor that on the bottom? Yes, x minus 3, x minus 1. Do I have any non-permissible values? So for my domain, x can't equal 3 and x can't equal 1. I'll put the homework questions for example 2 along with example 3.